Hey curious people, I have been given a Dyson um, DC41 rollerball model, um, broken. I'm really excited to see what's inside this thing. We all know that Mr Dyson has wonderful engineering, so um, yeah, I am looking forward to getting into this. So, the... bit is broken. I'm intrigued. I'm just trying to even figure out what's what with this thing. I'm just basically going to just uh, it's a star, start taking things um, just start undoing bits seeing where we get to really. Um, Oh no, wait, 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 wait. No, that's those. Okay. I'm in taking things to pieces mode. I did the sewing machine earlier. Oh. And now I get to do a Dyson. How exciting. Um, I'm really good at missing things, so I just want to have a really good look around this. That's pretty small, that one. star here. Thankfully it's the size I have. I've got some other little bits and pieces. Um, like on a set but this is the best proper one I've got and thankfully I think it's the most common size so that's something. So we looking. Well, I haven't found much to undo so far. Whoa, this ball is a bit wibbly wobbly, obviously, because that's how you steer the thing. Lovely bit of uh, cord there on the Dyson. Oh no, thought I had the star in my hand. There's probably a uh, Official name for those. To me, it's Star. Okay. Okay. Another bit off the surplus requirements. Definitely 
looks like some sort of clip there. I believe there will be a motor in there that turns the yes darling roast dinner it's cooking um, screws are out of that I think I will just open with it. to get that out to get to these but it's very um I've undone everything it's just really stiff okay I think also though that the uh the cold doesn't help me to come on should just slide out wedged in with some dirt. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Unscrew these ones. And just about get to that one. The rain clouds are coming. I'm thinking, no! Can I get this done before the rain comes? Here we go, finally. So, this is one little motor. There had to be a motor in there because something's got to drive that brush around. So you don't stand a chance getting into a Dyson without this star tool. It is essential. That's it, I think. Oh, there's one. Sussed ya. For once, I spotted the rogue screw before trying to smash it open. Of course, you can see why this stopped working. The um, look at this surrounding this bit of the motor here. It's got literally got drawn in there. Amazing. Oh, hello, my darling. Hello. Yes, I'm fighting the weather clock here. It is this, isn't it? This is attached to that. Gosh, does that mean I'm going to have to touch that and see if I can... 
I'd rather just get that off to be honest. I don't actually know. I think that has to come. Hmm. Yes. Gotcha. All right. That's heavy. See what this says? Johnson Electrical. That is a nice heavy little motor in there. Definitely heavier than um, most this size. Probably though, it's the metal casing to be honest. But um, who knows? So that's the small motor I wanted. Um, this, for me, bad times. So I'll be right back once I have cleared this up because I cannot carry on. I mean, would you look at my leg? No, no, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. I don't even like my own Hoover dirt, let alone somebody else's. Even though I'm grateful for the Hoover, it could be a bit of a messy job, so. Now, I need to get into here. My hands are so cold. See, this should. I think this is not doing anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Right now. Tell you what though, that filter's not too bad. Maybe that's because it all got jammed elsewhere. Okay. That's our take. Now not sure if that's small enough to or possibly. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do the same again. A bit fiddly this. I've got to try to just clamp those two. That's it, there we go. Clamp and turn. Actually. Do it with one. No, it's still not yet. It doesn't look like anything is happening here, but that is definitely unscrewing. Ah, oh. great. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Aldi biodegradable wipes. Let me just give this a little bit of a wipe down. Just a little. It's too fiddly to work in gloves, you see. Um, it's inevitable I'm going to get a bit yucky. But. Alright. So. Again, lots of stars. I'm just going, oh, it's a smaller one. No! Why would you do that to me? 
why would everything be oh, that one's smaller bigger well, I have two different I haven't got another one that's as good as this I have got a little kit I can get well which I'll have to get no nope. yeah okay Well, if nothing else, I've shown you, you definitely need some of these star tools to get inside a Dyson. Crikey. Choing! I think I must have left my safety glasses inside as well, so... If it looks like I need to be pushing and snapping, I might have to just pop off and get those. That's a big one. Any other big ones? That's small, I think. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, this kit's got some smaller. stars in it. Yeah, because I've never, you know, I don't really know about this stuff. This kind of different kind of um, appliance kind of things are a bit different to take apart. It's not like an easy PC a scrap out or a, Set top box or DVD player. Mm, this one's not having any of it. Pretty sure that is too big. Um, yeah, it's there's a bit more to kind of work out, screw, you know the order things have gone in and what have you so um yeah i'm just getting used to it really i've got a lot to learn shall we say <laughs> which is very obvious to anybody watching i do go about things in a very unmethodical uh cack handed kind of way that's one of my endearing features. <laughs> right? Okay. I think what I might be able to do. I might be able to get in by just plastic's pretty old, so. What to do when you don't have long arm, thin long armed star? Yes, I think. What's going on with the sizing? So there's three different size stars in this Dyson. Mm. 
Yeah. It's very tight, but I think it's moving ever so slightly when I'm at exactly the right angle. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely higher. So this is a perseverance one, this is. I'm losing light here. The sun's just gone really bright as it's beginning to go down. So it's going to get even colder. Right, that's I've undone all these on this side. So there's another one. That's tiny. That's way smaller than that one. That fits, I think. We shall see. Yep. So this has actually been quite a long scrap out, this one. Much longer than uh, I had originally planned. But that's just how it goes. So... the trick a here. That should all be separate now. daughter singing Katy Perry firework <laughs> oh dear right they're gradually getting there hey. more stars gosh I am glad the sun is right on me as it's going down though because it's mighty chilly here in the UK I think it's about 12 which doesn't sound that chilly compared to some places I know, but actually it gets a bit chilly on your hands outside doing this. But I mean, yeah, obviously I want to be here, so that's fine. How does this come out, I wonder? Well, that's like one... Oh, it's... Is that one piece? I think it is. Obviously, there is a bit more cable going in there. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, cut. There I can. So I'm off that side. Ah, oh. right there. It's because it had moved round. Thought I did see. This should be it, you know. To get that bit off. is going to take some massive editing so I've gone about this in the most <laughs> cat candid way possible all right just pop, pop that off come on there we go 
back. Plastic avalanche. Right. It's probably not going to be relevant to anything, but I'll just remove this bit anyway. Ah, oh, there's clips. slot in there's another oh, that's good so cold right now so you better just eke this off now to reveal da -da -da -da. Okay, look at that dust. <laughs> I'm not OCD or anything, but let's just give it a little bit of a wipe off of all the human skin that doesn't belong to me or my family. Okay. Finally, it's taken I don't know how long, but here we have that is one heavy motor. See that in there? <laughs> And would you believe it's actually a Panasonic motor inside this Dyson. So, yeah, that was a lolly request for pudding. <laughs> so there we go. I'll just could take those off, but I'm not that bothered. that will just go into motors um, yeah heavy nice and heavy not much I can say about it really so it's taken quite some time a lot of mess all the wrong tools but eventually I have managed to get this motor and this motor the, this one I would say it's more than half the weight of this one. And look how small it is. So that's small but mighty. Um, so this is basically the main money-making bits inside the Dyson. You've got these two motors. And then, of course, you have all of the cord. Okay, well, there we have it. We got there in the end. It was a bit cat handed but you can see now what you'll pull out of the Dyson so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one and I'm going to go get cleaned up Woo. bye